In this video, we're going to take a look at some options for absolutely positioning something on the page. This is all under the position option here. Once you've selected a shape, I've inserted a text box here, and this is the one we're going to use to move around on the page. So when the text box is selected, the shape format appears. When it's deselected, it disappears. So I'm going to reselect it, and let's go to shape format. And this all is on the position option here on the ribbon. And we're going to go to more layout options. And the first thing we're going to look at is the horizontal positioning. And we're just going to look at the absolute position right now. So uh, right now it is zero inches to the right of the margin. If we go up and look at our margins here, we've got one inch margins on the left and the right. And actually I need to click outside that, I think. Let's cancel that and click outside. And now you can see... Uh, the margin indicator. So uh, it's an eight and a half inch wide piece of paper with one inch margins on each side and then six and a half inches available for text and other things in the middle. So let's reselect the text box. Let's go to position and let's go to more layout options. And we're on the position tab here and we're going to do an absolute position. You can also do relative positions, but we're just going to do absolute position. And the three things we're going to look at, it can be relative to the margin, and the margin right now is one inch, and right now it's zero, so it's going to be right, the left edge of it's going to be right up on the margin. Uh, we can also position it to the page. If I select page, the edge of the page is going to be right here. Let's go ahead and, now it automatically adjusted this to keep it where it was, but I'm going to put a zero in there and click on OK, and let's try that again. Change the back to a one on me. Let's do zero. Let's click over here. Choose page, make sure it's still a zero, click on OK, and now it's right up against the edge of the page. That's something you probably don't want ever because there's a small area here uh, that's not available for printing. So you need to say inside the margins of whatever your, your printer allows. So let's uh, undo that, and now we're back at uh, one inch. Let's go back here and check where we are. But We are one inch to the right of the page. And let's uh, change that to column. Now let's change that to margin now. And uh, it updates this to zero so it doesn't move. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a two in there. We're going to slide it over two inches and click on OK. Let me make sure I click over here make sure it stays at two. Click on OK. And now it is over two inches. If I go outside of the box and go back to my normal ruler here, I've got a one inch margin and then I'm two inches in from it. And if I go click on the my tab stops over here, it doesn't matter which one I click on. Uh, but if I click on the number two here, uh, you'll see the line going down and it's right up against the two inch line. So those are your main options for, let's reselect this and go to shape format. So the ones you're going to use most of the time, I think, are going to be relative to the margin which is whatever you have your margin set to relative to the page or relative to the column. Uh, most of the time your document's going to be one column. In this case, uh, I haven't set columns, so it's just one that goes from one inch inside the edge of the page here to within one inch of the page over here. So that's basically the same as choosing the margins. Our other option here is uh, vertical, and apparently when I drew this on the screen, I didn't get it quite up on the top margin. There's a little bit of a space below the top there. I'm going to change that to a zero and click now 600 of an inch isn't very much but watch this as I click on OK it should jump up just a little bit and it did. Okay uh, we still got our shape selected let's go to shape format let's go to position let's go to more layout options and let's put this uh, relative to let's move it down a couple of inches we'll change it to a two and I want it relative to the margin, which is one inch, so it should be three inches down from the top of the page. So click on that, click on OK, and this is, if I click outside again, if you look down, we don't get the horizontal lines here when you click, but it should be right across from the two inch mark here, and it is. Okay, let's reselect it. Let's go back to shape format, and uh, let's go to position again and more layout options. I'm going to change it now. It's two inches below the margin. I'm going to change this to page, and it should automatically change this to a three for me because it's now three inches from the top of the page. So 
if you change what it's relative to over here on the right, uh, it will automatically adjust over here. So you have to actually have to make two changes anytime you want to make an update here. So you can make that relative to the top of the page. You can make it relative to uh, the margin, uh, the paragraph that you're on, uh, and uh, some other options here that I think you're less likely to use. But if you're curious, you can play with them too. So that's how you can absolutely position things on a page in Word 2019.